Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2021. Let's dive in. At about 683 grams and 6.4 millimeter thickness, the iPad feels heavy in the hand and holding it with one hand can quickly become tiring. On the front here is the 12.9 inch liquid retina XDR with mini LED screen. 12 megapixel front facing camera with face ID support is located up here. There's also a USB-C Thunderbolt port, but there's no headphone jack. The smart connector is located here and there are four speakers. So no matter what orientation you're using the iPad, you will at least get stereo speaker quality. For a mobile device, the speaker on this device is way better than I expected. Listening to music was good, it didn't sound hollow or quiet. And watching Netflix, the speakers add to the immersive experience of watching the movie. Here is an example of how the sound quality from this iPad sounds like. The front camera is good enough for video calling and feature like center stage did a good job of keeping my face center most of the time. It would have been better if I can enable the feature with face emoji enable at the same time. I use my iPad for many different purposes. I play games like Genshin Impact on my iPad or I consume HDR content through my Netflix. I also use feature like opening two apps at once for multitasking, such as Google Doc on one side and with a web browser open on the other side. And I sometimes use the Apple Pencil for drawing and light video editing on LumaFusion. I got the usual 10 hours of battery life that was advertised by Apple. And no matter how heavy my workflow was for that day, it always lasted me through the end of the day with some extra juice to spare. Mini LED display which result in deep black. 120Hz refresh rate which makes everything feel very smooth. And when you combine that with the M1 chip, everything feels very snappy on the iPad and I have yet to run into issue where the UI stutter. Portable. Great battery life. Speaker quality is great for consuming content. Blooming on screen. Price, especially if you factor in the fact that you need to purchase the Apple Pen, keyboard and mouse separately, which can easily add up to be a very expensive purchase. Only one USB-C port. Apple packs a lot of computer power for mobile users and it makes a great secondary device for media consumption or getting work done on the go. And if that's what you need, then the iPad Pro will make a good investment. But for everyone else, you're better off looking at the cheaper options like the iPad Air or even last generation's iPad Pro. That concludes the video. Thank you for sticking around to the end and I hope this video was helpful. Please consider helping out this channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. See you next time.